Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Chupacabra's Lair. I am Larry the Chupacabra, and today, along with my buddy Savrick, we are going to be debuting the game Bloodlust Shadow Hunter, brought to you by WRF Studios. It is still in beta. Um, you can check out the demo for this game on their website. I'll link it in the descriptions. And this is a vampire RPG slash uh, stabby rogue type game. And, um,. It's got puzzles and vampires and stabbing. It's kind of like old school vampire too, with like vampire vision and shadow and mist forms and mind control and sucking the blood of everything with a pulse. What do you think about it so far, Savvy? Uh, I enjoy it. It uh, reminds me of Indiana Jones at the starting area because you're like in this temple and has all these puzzles and you get all this cool loot and stuff. It's uh, very enjoyable. I think this time I'm going to start as a vampire, and you've got two options for breeds of vampire. You can be a vampire or a vampire. I don't yet know the difference. You can be male or female. Let's go run around with some nice jugs. And um, you have three classes. You can be a warrior, stab things, or a witch. I I'd assume there's some spell casting involved. Um, and also a criminal. I yeah, I, I put it as a criminal. It's kind of like a the roguish type influence to walk up and stab people in the face and steal stuff and oh, pick locks and everything like that. There's not a lot of character customization just yet. Um, you can kind of see like the overview of what your character looks like. And then you've got intelligence, vitality, charisma, dexterity, strength, and persuasion. And if you want extra dialogue because you're really into the roleplay aspect, you want extra persuasion. Strength to carry other weapons, dexterity to do more damage and use fancier weapons, charisma to improve your magic power and life force, and vitality, of course, increases your health and intellect, makes it hacking and doing all the special abilities easier. I'm going to add... Yeah, and, uh, I, I started with some points in Persuasion to see if it did anything. There's a lot of games that kind of doesn't really do much until the very end of the game, and it's always kind of minute, and it's yeah. typically a waste of a stat. Um, in this one, though, uh, the first two or three people you talk to, you can use the Persuasion stat, and it does uh, give you stuff, which is pretty cool that they actually use it. So you don't feel terrible for, for specking into that. It's kind of nice. Not really. I think Life Force, that's um, your sprint bar down here at the bottom. You've got yeah. um, health and your purple. Mana in this game is purple. And you also have to look at your thirst bar, so you need to feed on people or drink blood wine occasionally. But that's enough for now. I'm going to call it um, Fanta. Wanna Fanta? Don't you wanna wanna Fanta? Oh, yes. Magic will happen. Zoom in and out with your mouse scroll wheel to do busy busy. Oh, you can double tap forward to do it super leap. And I think I want to press F1 key to clue. Saving Fanta. Don't you wanna wanna Fanta? Don't you wanna? Mouse mode. Press the Z key to toggle between modes. See which works best for you. Hold the right mouse button down to steer. You know, I don't mind this terribly. Let's see. This is the regular. It's a locked mouse. It's okay. Z. This is kind of like WoW, where you kind of can strafe around and control it. That's not bad. I might try that. Talk with Varak. Varak. Hello, Varak. Welcome, Fledgley. How was your sleep? I mean, it was okay. I wouldn't rough on home about it. There wasn't even a pillow in that damn thing. D did you say something? No, you couldn't have. Your lips are so shut, sir. My name is Varak. I am the caretaker here in the ruins. Doesn't really answer my question, Varak, but very well. I can see you are a little confused, no? Quite normal in these circumstances. Side effects from the bite, perhaps. Did you date rape me, Varric? Any chance you know what I bite? What is this bite you, you speak of? You are no longer mortal, I'm afraid. Your blood has...
has been tainted with a bite from a night feeder. Damn it, Jimmy! Am I a vampire Not now? exactly yet. Only a fledgling, but on your way. You will need to feed and grow your bloodline if you are to survive here in the ruins. So what is this? You know what, Varric? I'm just going to do this. Where did you drag me to? You have been exiled here in the ruins. Hot graveyard and hot ancient past. Someone obviously either doesn't like you or they're trying to teach you something. Well, I'm here, so what's the plan, old man? You will need to learn quick here. The creatures found here are not as friendly as me. You will need to gain experience and learn your new skills quickly. Ooh, I like First skills. Skill will be to bite. You will need to drain victims to survive. Oh, I can have a little nimble periodically. And if I drain people, won't I just be as bad as the evil around here? Why? Suit yourself. Make sure you don't drain them dry and they will be fine. But I warn you, you will be tempted to go back for seconds. <laughs> well, well, very well. So what else Find do I need? The Statue of the Ancients. The spirit will guide your path to the exit of this dark place. Also see Sarah. She is the only traitor here. So, my good sir, well, might there be some way you could uh, put in a good word for me down with the clan if I uh, slip you some pygmy blood? I see I you see learn you quick, learn fledgling, fledgling, using, using your, your power, power of persuasion. persuasion. Bring me the sword stone located, located deep, deep within the dungeon, the dungeon, and I will grant you some reputation with my clan. Oh, sounds good to me. Alrighty. Talk with the ancient statues and find a sword. Ooh, nibbles. Empty alcohol bottle and a sleeping old man. Don't mind if I do. Oh, hi. Are you new to this place? You, uh... You having a good night out, buddy? Well, I'm gonna have a nibble. I don't know. You got some bad cholesterol here, Billy. I'm not so sure about this. Walter added to the side tree. Oh, we're cooking meth now. Yeah. Come on, Walter. You're my fledgling. Ooh, I like the sound of this. Fanta and bum Walter. Inventory. <laughs> He's just got a bottle. That's awesome. Come. Find. Come with me. Attack and protect. Alrighty. Let's uh, go exploring. Can I break this? I guess not. No lockpicks. Come on, Walter. Lumbering zombie of a man. Ooh, there's a person back here. Wolf? Oh, you're getting killed. That's no good. Stop killing my f friend, Wolfie. He's useful. Kind of. Hello, my good sir. Hey, look. Sleeping Beauty is finally awake. How was your nap? Figures the first vampire I meet would be the insane clown posse kind. No, not really. But I did see you sleeping earlier when I took a peek inside your coffin. I'm sorry, but I was searching for blood fragments, and that's usually what you find inside dead vampire coffins. Didn't find any, but I did notice a few items next to your coffin. I didn't touch them, though, but I was curious who left that weapon and flashlight for you. Hmm. Don't have blood fragments, sir. Oh, man. You must have been asleep a long time. Blood fragments are very, very valuable. Just be glad you didn't have one for me to steal, huh? <laughs> me and a few other guys have been uh, hired as excavators to find all the fragments in these ruins. Hmm, if you are supposed to be excavating, why are you here? Oh, I'm just waiting for those wolves to go away. One of them tore up my leg pretty bad. Man, once they lock on, they just don't let up. I even lost the full bag of blood jewels while trying to escape those creatures. Which reminds me, 
you happen to find a bag of jewels, how about bringing it back here, huh? So, it smells like you've been having a good night, Mr. Insane Clown Posse Man. Might I have a sip? Uh, sure. Take it. It's probably attracting those wolves closer to me anyway. Uh, also, if you need any lockpicks or keys, you might want to find Sarah. She set up a temporary trade shop to provide supplies for the excavators in the area. Nice, I might talk with her. So then, there's something... Oh, there's bacon over here. There is a secret door here, but you need the secret sight skill to see and to open it. Help Machia, and he will help you, eh? Well, sounds good to me. I do like me some free bacon. Let's have a look-see here. I'm just in here. Whoosh! Oh. Classy, Walter. Okay. Hello, zombie. <laughs> okay, that went well. It's a corpse. Let's, uh. Got some candy from you. There's a pressure plate. Oh, shit. No, bad zombie. Bad zombie. <laughs> Be a good zombie. What? Did you drop me, zombie? I was making noises while I was fighting the zombie. Let's see. Whoosh! Oh, come on. I'm, I'm in the frickin' pressure plate. Kinda want a shotgun. Oh crap. Nope. Nope, bad zombie. Bad, 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 bad. Okay. Click to disarm the trap. So I'm still gonna get some puzzles here, hopefully, soon. Some healing. What does the note say? Place knife into the chest. Oh, okay, well, that's straightforward enough. And I've got some more skill points. I'm gonna pop some into my vitality so I don't get rumbled quite as hard. What did you think about the, uh, the puzzle so far, Savvy? I actually like them, I think they're pretty neat. Um, like, just unique stuff. Like, there was the one, it's like, put your knife in the chest. And you're like, I don't know if I should do that. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. You I'm do, like, and it, yeah. But I like my weapon. It's sort of important. But I did it. It's worth it. I get this old Tomb Raider feel when I play this game. Like, uh, it's got kind of like yeah, those, me too. It's got kind of like those old puzzles, like Tomb Raider and like God of War. Yeah. Ring, wooden stake. Blocks must add up to seven. They're over on the wall on the left. Just so yeah, no, I got it. I figured. Let's see here, journal. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Put on the ring. Let's see. This looks like they have three, so three plus two plus two. So two, want this one to be three. Just take a little bit to go. Start a fourth one. Yep. Haha. 
I think the extra traps are a little bit redundant at times. Yeah. Eyes of Disarm. Leads it more dexterity. Belt armor. Got a belt savvy. Jelly bastard. I bet you don't have a cashmere belt, do you? Use the L to command your minion. He gets healed up quite nicely. Alrighty. Up the stairs we go. Stop dying, Walter. Getting too... Walter's getting too feisty on me. We got... Glyph. Quarter moon. I wonder what the glyphs are for. you figured that out yet? Yeah, you put them in weapons and it makes them stronger. Oh, they're like runes from Diablo. Yeah. Oh, I can go into the wall. Something's attacking me. What is it? Oh. What? Stupid! You killed Walter! You bastard! Why would you do that? Oh, he's okay. Alright, that's not too bad then. Head triggers a secret. I was just gonna. <laughs> did you fly into the mouth when you did the eye underneath the door? Uh, yes. I did. I thought he was gonna give me a blowjob. It's pretty cool so far. Come, Walter, there's. The hell is. Oh, you're. That's... Evil zombie, dark zombie, of zombie, tuned in the deliciousness. Take fragment. Oh, I gained XP. That's cool. Jump. Trip. Oh, there's another chest up here. Blood ring, thieves apprentice. Bag of jewels. Excellent, I can give Gibber Smooch his stuff back. What did the mouth open? Oh wait, here it is. Wait till you get to the chest with the moonlight that I can't figure out how to get into. What? Oh, I got a hat. Yeah. And I got poisoned. What does the poison do? Less damage, slow stamina regen. Let's jump into the inventory and use this new ring. Gun ring. Dang it, ring. Click to drag, sir. Mr. Bill. Click to drag. Roach. Hat. Fantastic. Do I see it on my character? I do. Haha. -ha. Very nice job. Savrick, I've got a fedora. Reddit will love this. <laughs> well. Walter, the pathing is kind of hinky. Okay. Jeez. No lockpicks. So, I got a bunch of keys, yet all the doors that are locked require lockpicks. Yeah, you can buy them from Sarah. Have you found my bag yet? Thanks. Since you helped me out, I guess I could teach you secret sight. It Damn takes right a you to will. Help me find a few fragments, and it might help you find whatever you're looking for too. You want me to teach it to you? Do it. And there you go. Give that a try. In fact, I think there's a secret wall over there behind me. Oh, all right. Goodbye, you saucy. He's a saucy juggalo, Machia. I hope you realize this, Abby. I open the secret door. Did 
we had to do it one Okay. You have to open the secret door while you have the super secret site. Um, okay, that, yeah. Does this drain juice? It does drain juice. Is there bacon in here? Goodies? Oh, there's, what? Back up and use vampire's gaze to hold the orb within the mouse. Try to fly up through the wall and try- oh, I see. Another eyeball puzzle. Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. I guess the eye is made out of juicy energy. I activated it. What's the problem here? Oh, whatevs. Some pressure plates are danger, Dave. Walter, stop doing that. Dang it, Walt. I'm gonna have to start controlling you and making you stand to the side. Poisoned. Herb. It just says herb. Alright, Cronkite. Oh! Doesn't hurt Walter, but it certainly hurts me. I need lock picks. Ooh, almost got murdered. Ah, crap. Okay, really? Trust the double tap anymore. Is this herb good for anything? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I have a level two. Let's get. Zone. Super secret door. Breakable wall. Oh, yeah, that's right. Link. Oh, there's a. What are you? Get. No. Get. Get out of here. Get out of here, Siren. Get out of here. I don't want your Siren song. You're not even that sexy. Wait, what was this? <laughs> okay. I need to work on the pathing for Walter. I didn't get him to move. <laughs> I just made him stay there, because I found out he's a hobo. <laughs> so I'm like, nope. Dude, he's a, he's a magical meth vampire. He's Walter the Bum. Why would you do that to him? I thought we were friends. What is... What, what is oh, it's a big door. Hello, the trader lady. Come here, you. Ooh. I like what I see. Yes. Trader lady has some nice jugs, savvy. You must be the new fledgling, huh? Brock mentioned you, but don't get any ideas about trading here. This is not some local grocery store, you know. This trade shop is set up strictly for excavators, of the ruins through an agreement with my group's leader. However, I am in need of some wolf fur. I probably shouldn't, but if you can find some fur, I might make an exception for you. Heh, <laughs> she wants some fur, but first she gotta give me some of them lockpicks, girl. Urgh. Thank you. You can find a few blood wolves in the courtyard area. Come back when you have found some wolf fur, huh? Sure, that sounds like a plan. Hey, what are you? Vampire. What are you doing away? First time I thought you'd permanently. Whoa. I'll deal with you later. Hmm. He's the Scooby Doo vampire. Oh, really? What are you? Oh, stop. I can help you. I'm not supposed to kill you. You've made a wise choice, Dredgeland. 
Okay, that's a giant gorilla golem. Oh, well, that wouldn't hurt as much as I thought it would. I'm gonna see if I. Well, no, I don't think that works. Well, I think that's going to about wrap up our checkout of uh, Bloodlust, the Night Hunter. Um, it's a pretty cool game. I really like it. I think it's got a lot of potential. Hopefully, when it starts getting uh, upgraded or changed or messed around with, um, Bill will be nice enough to invite us back to play an updated version with cooler swag and even better action-packed adventures of vampirism. Um, any closing thoughts, Savvy, before we close her down? Uh, no. Not really. It's made... It was fun. I enjoyed it. It's on the Unreal Engine. Does a pretty nice job. I kind of feel like I'm playing, like, a Killing Floor Vampire Hunter game. I like that a lot. Yeah, it's like Tomb Raider with vampires and more puzzles and... It's enjoyable. Ran a lot. Uh, more fluid than I anticipated it would, too, which is nice. No, I don't think they, they could... I don't think it'd be hard to make this... Oh, there's a zombie near me. I don't think it'd be too easy for them to make this into a full-fledged multiplayer game, but multiplayer support, so you can kind of chill out with your friends, might be pretty cool later. They're probably already considering that, but uh, thanks again to the, uh, the crew at uh, WRF Studios, the voice actors, uh, Bill... And uh, everyone else who was involved, and thank you for joining me today, Savvy. Um, peace out, everyone. Catch you next time.